Hello my friends! In this video I will show you a practical application for a spectrum analyzer for FPV video. Even if you don't have an RF Explorer yourself, there will be some takeaway knowledge at the end of the video. So stay tuned. Currently on the screen you see a high resolution scan of a single transmitter. The large spike in the middle, that's the main signal. And then in intervals of around 50 megahertz up and down the band, you will see the so-called harmonics. Frequencies that the transmitter is transmitting even though it's not supposed to. The problem of harmonics gets even more interesting when you turn on multiple transmitters at the same time. So let me power on one transmitter on 5740 and then another one. Now let me just place a marker here. 5740 megahertz and then I'll power on a second transmitter 40 megahertz away on 5780. This is very close to the harmonic frequency of the first transmitter and as you can see down the band it's producing additional harmonics around 40 megahertz apart. I'm placing a marker at 5780 and then another marker at 5820 for this major harmonic here. Now there will also be another harmonic 40 megahertz down from the first signal but yeah we can't see that because I have limited the scan to this range here. Now 5820 looks like an obvious choice for the third channel to spread the signals across the available band evenly but yeah looking at these harmonics 40 megahertz apart is not a good spot if you want to have interference free reception. 5820 and 5860 are the noisiest spots in the available bandwidth. However for now I will power on the third transmitter on 5860 and then the fourth on 5880 and after that I'll show you how to reduce the interference from the first two channels on 5860. So now number three is transmitting and when I turn on number four 20 megahertz above number three you will see that it produces harmonics in 20 megahertz distance down the band. So the first interharmonic is not 40 megahertz away from the signal but only 20 megahertz away. Here on 5840. So that means when I move two neighboring channels closer together the resulting interharmonics will not spread so far across the band. So in order to reduce the interference I want to move channel 2 closer to channel 1 but not that close that they interfere directly with each other. Now the channel allocation on the FPV bands is a little crazy because it's basically a wild collection of different manufacturer specs. So I don't care about what band it actually is, I only care about the frequency. And I want to set channel 2 on 5765. That is 25 megahertz above channel 1, which means the first harmonic is another 25 megahertz up the band, which is 5790. So let's remove this marker here and then this harmonic marker and place another one at 5790. Now you can't really see it in this view but 
depending on the distance of the two transmitters to each other, they will produce further strong interharmonics in 25 megahertz steps up the band. In most cases it's good enough if you avoid the first interharmonic, but if you have enough space you should also avoid the second and the third interharmonic of each transmitter pair. So when you're transmitting on 5740 and 5765 then you should avoid the frequencies 5790, 5815 and 5840. Now as you can see the third transmitter that I've powered on on 5860 is producing harmonics 25 megahertz above and below. So even though 5865 is the fourth harmonic of channel 1 and 2, I'm putting it right on that frequency in order to move the harmonics up a little bit so that I can use 5880 as my fourth frequency. Now when I power off transmitter 1 and 2 you can see that the harmonics produced by 3 are also impacted by those two transmitters at the other end of the band. So now let me fumble around with the bands and the channels until I get it to sit right on 5865. Here we go. So now I remove a marker from 5860 and also the one from the first harmonic and a new marker is going to be placed at 5865 and target frequency for channel number 4 is 15 megahertz above that. That is close enough to not directly interfere with the other channel and it keeps the produced harmonics nice and close. Now when I power transmitter 2 back on you can see that it's actually producing harmonics around 15 megahertz above and below. But that doesn't affect channel 1 too much because channel 1 is 25 megahertz below channel 2. I don't know exactly why and how all these harmonics are produced but as a general rule of thumb takeaway knowledge I can tell you that if you want to run four FPV transmitters on the same band don't space them out across the band in equal intervals but put them in two pairs, one pair close together at the lower end of the band and the other pair at the higher end of the band. Also, the frequency difference in each transmitter pair should be different to each other. So in my case it's 25 megahertz between 1 and 2 and then 15 megahertz between 3 and 4. So that's it for this video. I hope you learned something and if you have any comments or questions you may ask them down there in the video comments. See you later.